Have you ever wanted to control your thermostat or turn your lights on with just your Windows phone? Uh, now you can. Insteon and Microsoft have teamed up to bring you their home automation system. We're going to give you a quick tour and show you what it's all about. And one of the real cool things about Insteon is, of course, their Windows Phone app, which you can see here. It does have a double Y tile, although it is currently not live. Perhaps they'll do that in a later version. Still, you can launch it and it will access your hub system. And there are two ways to set this up. You can do it either so it only accesses when you're on the network itself, or you can set it up to do it remotely. Doing it remotely requires an extra step with your router to do what's called port forwarding, but it's actually pretty simple and they have a really good guide to walk you through it. Under here, you can see I have my favorites. So I can put whatever sensors I want into this section. And those are my quickly accessed ones, basically. So I have the camera here, I have the plug-in module, and uh, there's the main camera control. I can also control the camera by turning on and off the microphone so I can hear things in the room if I want. I can also, of course, control the camera by touching these on-screen controls. And so I can move the camera up and down and rotate around the room for 360 degrees. Going over here, I have different room setups. So I have the main room, my bedroom, and all devices. And you can always go to the menu and add more rooms. And what's really cool when you do that, you can pick the icon you want here. It's pretty much unlimited. That's the beauty of the system. It's completely configurable. Scrolling over here, you have different scenes. Scenes get a little complicated. There, you can think of them almost as a Rube Goldberg system where you keep adding on devices to do things. So if you're actually a computer programmer, you'll probably enjoy these. Not that you need to be a programmer to set them up. They just require a little bit of finesse. So you can have it so when you walk into your door, the light turns on, but when you go up the hallway, the motion sensor then turns the light off. But you have to think of all the scenarios of what's going to happen when you activate these things. So it can get a little tricky, but it's still a really great option. Under here, you have your settings for house, house management, so you can actually have different properties on there. You can set schedules, which is based on sunrise, sunset, or specific times. Of course, your main account, full access. So right now, that means I have full access to my system, but I can actually give this app to someone else set it up on their device, but then limit their access to what they can do. So it's really good if you have children or people you don't want to be able to access everything on the system. Of course, you have sign out about app help, remote access guide, contact us, and feedback. Uh, I have to admit, NCN's really good for uh, help and how-tos, and all this stuff has been really easy to set up. And going back over here, you can see my sensor statuses and what they are, all clear, all clear. Uh, overall, a really nice app. Uh, it does have a little issue once in a while when I go back to relaunch, sometimes, it launches, sometimes it does the resume thing. Uh, other times I have to relaunch the entire app itself, but it is a version 1.0. We are also expecting this to get Cortana integration later on this summer, in which case I can then tell Cortana to turn on my lights or activate certain properties, and that should be a lot of fun. The Insteon HomeKit comes with an open-close sensor, which you can place on your door or window, and it basically sends you an alert if the door opens or closes, but you can configure it how you want. It's also a thermostat, which you can quickly install and allow you to control your air conditioning, heating, and or fan. There's also a Wi-Fi indoor camera, which is really fascinating. The camera can move 360 degrees. You can mount it on a wall and even angle it according to the way you want, and it could go through Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whatever your preference is. But the real exciting part is how you can see at nighttime with it. So when the lights are off, it goes into an infrared mode automatically, and you can see what's moving around the dark. It's both creepy, but also super cool. There's a motion sensor, which you can place anywhere in your house, and you can use the motion sensor to turn on other Insteon appliances. So you can have it connected to, say, your lights, so when you walk into the room, the lights turn on. You can also have it so the motion sensor is connected to the thermostat. So if you enter the room or even your house, it can turn on the air conditioning or the heat and set it to the temperature you like. The on-off module is universal, and it can connect to any AC outlet, allowing you to plug anything into it. Once it's connected, it can basically turn that appliance on or off. So you can set to a fan, a light, a TV, whatever you really wanted, it's up to you. And finally, there's the Insteon Hub where it all comes together. This little device connects right up to your Ethernet directly and then you plug it into the wall for power and it controls everything. It's pretty small and it stays out of the way and it actually looks pretty elegant. But what makes the Insteon system a lot of fun, of course, is you keep adding on accessories. For instance, there are LED bulbs, which you can plug in anywhere in your house. You can do a plug-in modules, mini remotes. You can add in other sensors for your doors and windows. You can add wall switches, wall keypads, 
wireless cameras, including an external one for outside, and even a flood monitor to monitor water in your basement should anything happen down there. There's even a garage door opener, so you can control your garage door, open, close it, or just check its status. It's all very cool. And Insean was really smart here and they made their app universal. So if you're on Windows 8, you can access your system anytime, anywhere, either from a tablet, a PC, your Surface, or whatever. You can see here I have my quick view. I have, once again, my favorites, my different rooms, different scenes, and of course my settings. It's just like the Windows Phone app. You just get the longer layout here. You can even go into your camera, get all your settings there, and double tap, and you can even get a full screen view and control the camera going up or down, which is pretty cool. So definitely a nice app, uh, and I don't have too many complaints about it. It works well and gives you full access to your system, and it's fully configurable. Whether it's a motion detector or turning your fans on, controlling your lights, or seeing who's in your home, you can do it all now from your Windows 8 PC, your tablets, or your phone. Insean and Microsoft have done a really good job with bringing home automation to the masses. It's cheap. You can start your own system for less than $99 and build it up from there as you see fit. You can go to, down to Home Depot or Best Buy and pick up your system there or head to Microsoft. I highly recommend it. It's a great hobby for the weekend and it's also a way to step into the 21st century. But you head to Windows Phone Central and tell us what you think. Take care, bye.